Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to this channel. By the way, I'm Eduardo Golfan and to this video, let's talk about timestamp. So no further intro, let's go to my sample loan application, this one. And below guys, we will add a field which is the date created, date updated, created by and also updated by. So to start, let's close this and then let us go to the uh, table, the data source. So... My record source is the loan details, so the sign view, and let us add here a additional field which is the number one date created. So date created, and then date and time, the data type. So, and we will put a value, default value which is now the current date and time. So we will select the general format consists of date and time. That's it, and then I'm um, created by short text, and then I'll change this to 50. I think 50 is enough, and then update updated, and it's okay. Not default value, updated by, and then change to 50. Save data sheet view. And let us try guys to see okay this is it so we have now a default value here created the uh, by and then date updated updated by so it's correct and then save yes and then I will go to my query and I will select this because uh, my data source is really in a query because this is an extended um, source so, okay. Now, the field that we have created, this four field, I will drag or I will add in this query. So, close this. Yes. And then, next is I'll go to my form. So, this one, the loan transaction design view. So, here I will add the field that we have created. So I will click this add existing field and this one that created until updated by I will drag this this is it and I will add it here also this one and also this one the date updated and then the last is this updated by Okay, and I will align and also if I forgot the anchoring bottom left and I will minimize the size kitten make it in okay that's it and let us try guys form you so I'll try to add a record for example, this one, November 11, Borrower ID, Bongbong Bong Marcos, Comaker. So, the navigation form is uh, not open, so that's why this one is uh, enter parameter value. But never mind on this. Uh, loan type, emergency, 5000. Processing fee is 150. Interest rate is 5%. Payment terms is 5 months. Um, other charges like uh, 200 so uh, I think that's enough and then so date created guys you can see this one uh, this is the default one we will uh, proceed to the next and then let's go back we will go to the design view okay we will expand this okay let's try again let us Let's find it. Okay. This one. So let's try or let's go to the table. Let us check to the table if it is really works. So loan details. Close. Uh, let me check first. One pif one five one. So this one guys date created so now we will add the created by 
So, open this. And before that, we will open the navigation form. Design view. Because we need this. Um, sorry. The name of this field, is, uh, text box, is username. So we will look up this. Let us go to the design view for this uh, loan transaction form. And then this one, the created by, let us look up the value of this. Because uh, that's the current user. So let's go to the data and then default value. Click these three dots. And then let's type forms. And then navigation form. That's the name of the form. And then username. Okay, that's it. And then click OK. Let us try. So close this. Uh, I mean save first to make it sure. Close. And then here we go. I, I will close also this one. And I will log in. User1. And the password is that. Access granted, you may proceed. So we will look up this and then we will create a new loan. So, okay, Gloria Arroyo, the co maker is Bung Bung Marcos, the loan type is regular, 100,000, and then processing fee is 150, interest rate is 5%, 24 months. Okay, I, I, sample. So, uh, date created and also the created by what if uh, let us save let us try if it's really recorded guys in the uh, loan details table and remember this this is the reference number the number 152 so let us refresh okay so number 152 let us check here we go guys so Together with, together with our timestamp for the date created is the created by. So, dummy account. So, now let us proceed to the date updated and also updated by. So, let's go to the form. Let us log in again. User1. Okay, this one. And then, loan application. Let's go to the design view. Okay. Where is it? Okay. So for the date updated and also updated by normally guys we use the after update. But this is applicable if we have to track the specific field, like for example this one. But if you want to track all the changes, all of this Field is we gonna use the before update and then we will use here the property sheet not the uh, specific field we will use the before update because when we will use the after update uh, there will be an error in terms of saving the records so that's why we will use the before update so uh, remember guys the name of the field is date updated and also the updated by so uh, let us try the coding before update click these three dots code builder so let's type me that uh, date updated this one equals now okay and also me that updated by so instead of using the what we call this one guys the where is it this one we will use the computer username so let's type n by run and then double quote username so by the way guys this is the username of your computer not the username of the database so that's it and then save yes close and let us try guys click this form view and then let us add a loan application okay Django Estrada the co-maker is Sara Duterte 
loan type is educational. So, okay, 1 million. Processing fee is, okay, that one, 25%. Payment terms is uh, 1 month. Other charges. So, sample frequency. So, I think this one. Uh, let us try, guys. Okay. So, okay, refresh. So, this one, this is the last. Okay. So, did, uh, did created 1045 dummy account and then uh, did updated. So, this one, but as you can see, guys, 1045 and this one, this is the 1046 because this is the, the last update. And then, user, because uh, the name of my computer is user. Okay. So, again, so what if the number 152, we will. Uh, update na the number 152. Let us find the 152. Okay, this one. 152. I will change uh, the regular to emergency. Okay. And then the time is 1047. Let's try. Refresh. The 152. Okay. So 1047. And then user. So, what if the number 1, 2, 3? 1, 2, 3. Where's the 1, 2, 3? Let's find the 1, 2, 3. Okay, this one. And then the payment term is, let us say, 24 months. Okay. And uh, let us close. Now, let us refresh. 1, 2, 3. Here we go, guys. So, this one. Date updated and also the current uh, user. The username of the computer is user. So, I think, guys, that's enough. And then for my next video, um, I will show you uh, my topic. For example, user 1. I'll show you on how to create a uh, loan calculator uh, with loan amortization schedule. Like for example, I will loan 5,000. The interest rate is 3%. The loan date is that one. The terms is 3 months. If the frequency is weekly, processing pilots at 150. When I click this calculate, automatic the loan details and also the loan amortization schedule so the judit and then if you want also to print you can you can print if you want monthly you can change it calculate that's it three months so three payable months print that's it so this is really enough guys and if this video helps you a lot, then please click like. And if you have some questions, uh, just comment it below. I will try my best to answer that one. And also, if you are new to this channel and wants to learn more about Microsoft Access, then guys, please consider subscribing this channel for more videos. That's all. Thank you and see you to my next video.